And today is the day. After over 40 years of being the host of Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak is retiring. CBS 21's Hallie Jacobs spoke with a contestant on Pat's last season with the show, and she is sharing her experience with Hallie. So, Hallie, it sounds like she was a lot of fun. She was amazing. She was a hoot to talk to. And this is actually a picture of her behind me. Her name is Heather Zell. She's from Harrisburg. And fun fact, she actually used to work here at CBS 21. Now, she was on Wheel of Fortune back in January. She says being on the show was a bucket list item for her and that Pat Sajak is a game show legend. I think Wheel is more than just a game show. It, it's an opportunity to, to let people bond over puzzles, right? And, and figuring out life is a puzzle and Wheel of Fortune gives you the opportunity to help solve it. Heather has watched Wheel of Fortune with her family all her life, but she never dreamed of actually competing on the show. That was until she got the game show bug after being on $100,000 Pyramid seven years ago. She says playing the game could be stressful, but going back and forth with Pat Sajak made it all worth it. He is a game show legend. And if to watch him in action was fascinating, he doesn't really use use too many cue cards. He doesn't have a prompter. You know, he's very quick with wit. Um, you know, he made fun of me a lot during my episode, which I know my entire family and friend base appreciated because now they have that forever. Although she walked away with over $17,000 in winnings, Heather says the best part was the friends she was able to make along the way. And being on Pat's last season made her experience even sweeter. I will be popping a bottle of champagne the night of my wedding, which is Friday, but maybe we will cheers to Pat for his last day <laughs> because my Wheel of Fortune winnings helped pay for our wedding. Now, while we were chatting, Heather actually told me a very cute story. She said that alumni from the show were all part of the studio audience for the last week of taping for Pat, and they made him a book with a bunch of their photos and memories and time together that they presented to him. So I'll send it back over to you, Candace. All right, Hallie, I appreciate it. Very cool. And you know, Will of Fortunate can be a family affair. Mechanicsburg native Jackson Keith was a contestant. In March of 2019, he brought a button with a photo of his late grandmother with him. He says he used to drive to her place in Chambersburg, do chores for her and watch Wheel of Fortune. Now on the show, Keith had a different experience than Heather. He says that Sajak was kind of animatronic like those Chuck E. Cheese band members. You know what I'm talking about. He says that Sajak came out when the cameras started rolling and Keith added, let's be honest, I was there for Vanna White anyways. Keith played uh, and he won a tour of Peru, including Machu Picchu, which is one of the photos that you're seeing. He says his only regret is that his grandmother couldn't be there with him, and he didn't get the bonus puzzle, which was the longest answer ever. He got philanthropic. He did not get organization, and the answer was philanthropic organization. So a lot of Wheel of Fortune memories. I know a lot of folks are going to see. Uh, it's going to be sad to see Pat Sajak finish out his long decades of uh, on air hosting tonight. So, so can you kind of maybe talk us through, you know, why you like watching? I just like to see if I could come up with the words and the sentences that are on the game show. Um, grew up watching it with my parents and my sisters, and now we wa I watch it with my own family now. And are there any, you know, memories about watching it that stick out to you at all? Um, not in particularly. I just I was amazed by how quickly people get the answers. Um, and the prizes that they win are amazing. So I always like to see if there's anybody local that I could see that played the game. And then Pat, he's retiring. You know, yes. He's been there since the 80s. How does it feel seeing him go? Um, well, I grew up watching him on TV, but I think, you know, change is good. Um, and it's nice to see, you know, someone else come in and jump in the role and keep it going. I wish them well. And so first question for you, you know, why do you like watching the I love guessing with them. Sometimes I'm right. <laughs> and can you tell me, you know, how does it feel uh, seeing Pat retire after you know, so many years? It's going to be difficult because I don't remember anybody else ever hosting the show. Should be fun. A pair of Central PA's own representing us in the national game show Wheel of Fortune. CBS 21's TJ Anthony is at the fun party right now, checking things out, getting ready for it. Hey, TJ. Georgie, I'm sure you can hear the excitement. We are ready to cheer on Central PA's own Mary and Michaela Cunningham. Are you guys ready? Yeah! 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 
So as you can see, they are super excited for this, as we are. I mean, it's all airing at CBS tonight at 7. How are you guys feeling? We're so excited. We're just waiting for this moment to happen. Very excited. Oh, my God. So both Mary and her granddaughter, they both competed on the show. And you all filmed it back in March. Yes. And this is Mary's sister. What are you Mary. hoping your sister takes I on? hope she won twenty five to $50,000. <laughs> Do you think she'll share it with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Will you share it? If I won $50,000, yes, I'd share it. <laughs> Thank you. And then, guys, it's important to note that for Mary, I mean, you've watched Wheel of Fortune for years. Yes. I mean, you told me back in, what, the 1970s like you've 79, been watching? Like 79, since 79, at least, yes. Wow, so yes. this has been a long time coming it's for you. It's a long time coming. This is such an exciting moment. And it's well overdue, so check out the well story. Well overdue, yes. When grandmother Mary Cunningham and granddaughter Michaela Cunningham hear the iconic show open, it's game time for them. Things took a turn for the duo, though. They found themselves on set of one of their favorite game shows. Oh my God, I can't believe we're on stage. I can't believe we're on Will of Fortune. Mary, well, she was ready for this experience since she's been watching the show for decades. Forever and ever and ever, amen. The opportunity came with some doubters. I applied to go on Will of Fortune yes. and my granddaughter and all my children told me it's a scam. You're no. never going to get on. You're never going to get on. This can't be real. Boy, did she prove them wrong. Mary Ann McKayla Cunningham yes, here from us. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I said, I'm really on Will of Fortune. I can't believe this. This is like unreal. Like pinch me, pinch me. Are we really here? I've been on a Will of Fortune. I went to a Prince concert. So I think if I go tomorrow, I'm good. And Jasmine, I Jasmine, I have to say, you're a super fan. He was cheering for your name while we were in the story. Wave, say hey to Jasmine and Joel hey, D. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you want to see if Central PA's own take home the prize, where do you have to tune in to watch? CBS 21! <laughs> That's all coming up at 7 o'clock for now. Live for CBS 21 News, TJ Anthony. Yes. I love yes. it. I want to be we're fans of them party. as well. Tell them we love them, TJ. Thank you very That's much. That's so cool. We'll be watching and playing along like this. I All know. right. I'm Linnett, testing his luck tonight on Wheel of Fortune, just a few days before Pat Sajak's last show. All right. So CBS 21 is at least person. She is there where all the action is happening. They're at Penn Cinema. This is a community event at this point. Everyone's cheering for him. Tell us about it right now, Elise. Oh my gosh, I mean, this is so exciting. So this theater right now, nobody in the seats, but not for long. The kickoff of the party is going to be in about 25 minutes, and now I'm joined by the man of the hour. Woo! J.P. Welliver. Oh my gosh, so I need to know everything top to bottom. You on Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajax last week, what was it like to be there? I need to know. Honestly, so, super surreal. So exciting, though. Um, this has been a childhood dream of mine, literally since I was a wee little baby. So the fact that this has come true is just so wonderful. <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, I was looking you up, up and down. So I saw that, you know, you had been applying for this for months. So tell me what it was like to finally get that call. You're going to LA. <laughs> Um, I actually thought it was an April Fool's joke at first because it was right around April Fool's Day. So I actually had to like verify everything through LinkedIn to make sure that the, everything was like legitimate. But um, yeah, crazy because they give you like a week to get out to L.A. So not a whole lot of time. <laughs> right. He thought it was a fishing scam at first, guys. So I need to know, though, how heavy is that wheel? I need to know. The wheel is 2,400 pounds. So they have you practice spinning that a lot. He came home with like some serious mm -hmm. muscles. And yeah. so I want to talk about... I mean, we've got so many exciting things happening here. We have the cake. We've got the T-shirt. If you didn't see that, guys. I mean, what is it going to be like? About 100 members of your family and friends are going to be here. What is it like to share this moment with them? Um, again, so surreal. I can't believe it's happening, but I am so excited to have all of my loving friends and family around for this very once-in-a-lifetime moment. Right. Any secrets you can tell us or not yet? We'll just have to tune in. We will just have to tune in. I'm sorry. Yeah, you'll just have to tune in. You know where to watch. And it's going to be Pat Sajax last week on Wheel of Fortune. So make sure you tune in. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, we got some local talent besides him. Who made his t-shirt and who made those cakes? Seriously. Find out. No, actually, we need to know who made the t-shirts and who made these cakes because these are some... Yeah. Like, this is decorative. Yeah. So the cakes are made from the Cake and Cup Bakery 
right in Lidditz. Okay. And the t-shirts are made by coworkers at my part-time job, the Lidditz Apothecary. So, there we go. Gosh, yeah. So you're not the only talented Lidditz yeah, person around right. here. I mean, there is talent all over oh, the yes. place, and especially oh, yeah. in this movie theater. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, guys. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, and good luck tonight. We'll be watching. Those, thanks, Elise. Those cakes are gorgeous. I know. You're hungry. I get it. Central PA local on Wheel of Fortune, and he came so close to pulling off a last-second comeback, too. J.P. Welliver from Lidditz in Lancaster County has dreamed of being a contestant on the game show since he was a kid. Oh, perfect timing, too, since this is the last week mm -hmm. for Pat Sajak. You know the host? He's finally getting up the show after all these decades. I've heard of him. Yeah, well, of course. Welliver cutting it close. He missed by $400 to get to the final puzzle. Uh, let's see. Wow, this was close. JP almost pulled it out there. Fourteen thousand dollars you got. All cash. Thank nice you. job. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. What about you, Mir? Four hundred dollars. The proverbial skin of her teeth. Uh, she's uh, going to the bonus round. So tonight, JP hosted a viewing party at a local movie theater where friends and family joined to watch this super close game. He went home with fourteen thousand dollars. He got a ton of things right, just not the one at the end that he needed. But mm. uh, great showing. Thanks for watching the CBS 21 News YouTube page. For more top stories and breaking news, be sure to subscribe to this page and download our news app.